Howdy, welcome to the pool guy. Today I'm going to be doing a very short, uh, simple demonstration on how we polish slides here at my facility. Uh, we're going to go over the equipment real quick. So, first thing you need is a really good, high quality buffer uh, buffing machine. This one is a DeWalt. <clears throat> Makita makes a pretty decent one as well. Um, we've bought, we've purchased these actually from Amazon. Um, both the Makita and the DeWalt are pretty good um, as far as longevity and strength and, um, you know, take a beating if you will. The Makita is a little bit more expensive, so we decided to try and go with the DeWalt. Um, and it's actually fared us pretty well. Uh, so we've, uh, we've, we've really liked them. Um, what you really want to look for in, the, in a buffer is uh, the ability to have the speed control. So we have the speed control, that's the RPM control. Um, you can see this one goes all the way to 3,500, um, which is really good. Um, the, the Makita does the same thing, uh, just uh, the numbers are a little different. Um, and I think it's on the side, if I'm not mistaken, on our Makita. But we, uh, this one's really nice. The other thing you're going to need whenever you're doing buffing, and especially when you're using a pad like this, this is a 9-inch double-sided from 3M. Um, anytime you're looking for 3M products, you can look at that 5-digit number. And it's going to come up, especially if you go on Amazon or Google, you can use that number. Right away it'll come up for, for uh, 3M. We like to use the double-sided and when we, get into the, when we get into the program or when we get up uh, to the slide and start showing you what, uh, what it's used for and why we use the double-sided, it'll make a lot more sense. Um, in order for you to be used this though, so you can see it's pretty deep in there. You know, that's a, that's a nice two inches of pad. To be able to get in there, you need an adapter. 3M sells this adapter, and I'll try and get the uh, number and put it in the description. But you'll see it's an adapter. It comes off, of, um, it goes off the main shaft of the of the buffer. Um, makes it longer, a little easier. It's also shorter, so it's not going to. Once you start, once you start um, smashing this pad down um, and getting some compound in it, it's gonna it's gonna lose a lot of this stuff, and it's not gonna it's going to be pretty flat so you don't want the shaft you know for for this buffer it's got a long shaft you don't want it to hit your uh, hit your product whatever you're working on <clears throat> the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need some product of course right some product to be doing some cut all right so this one right here is a 3m super duty rubbing compound what this is for this is for cutting when we talk about cutting this is for cutting and polishing right this will on a water slide will break down a lot of that calcium buildup and won't get it all especially if you have a really thick amount of calcium buildup but it'll definitely break it down a lot now what this one is I really like this one for body slides it's a light cut but it has a nice gloss man it's a beautiful finish um, I use these on the start tubs and the body slides so what we're going to do today is I'm going to go on a mat racer and I'm going to show you what uh, what it'll look like whenever we do the mat racer. Whenever you're using these products, you don't want to mix them, of course. Um, but what we do is we use these nice, these are just uh, condiment bottles. And they're really good. I'm going to actually spray some on the deck real quick. You know, it's really good for dropping down onto uh, onto the to the glass and really makes it easy to just, just get it done instead of trying to just pour this stuff down you can control what you're putting out with this right another thing you're going to need and it's going to be apparent when we start getting into the into the the tutorial you're going to see these popsicle sticks just have a few of those with you and you're going to be all right all right we'll see you up at the top of the tower all right, decided to move to a different slide. It was starting to sprinkle. I didn't want to go up the tower and just get uh, disappointed with the rain. I'm on a red slide, and for us, red is actually one of our worst colors to work with. You'll see what this popsicle stick is used for. It's just for cleaning the pad. It's really what it's for. They do sell some other things that you can use for cleaning these pads, but they're all pretty pricey. Uh, so I just uh, flip the buffer upside down, go at full speed, and uh, clean it up like that. I put that stick in my baseball cap. So I always have it with me. Now where I'm using the Super Duty compound in that bu in that uh, dispenser. And, you know, all I'm doing is just giving it a little bit of product on the, on the surface. Not a lot, just enough to work. I'm currently on low speed. 
And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to spread it in the work area that I'm actually going to be trying to polish. You want to be able to spread this and uh, make it even. Because if not, this is what's going to happen. You'll see here real quick when I go to full speed. Ah, see? Clicked off a lot of that. You're going to get a lot of that too. It's just it is, it is what it's gonna, what's going to happen. I recommend if you're not in uh, outdoors, or uh, even if you are outdoors, definitely have a mask on. Uh, since I'm using this uh, real quick. I didn't want to. I, I decided not to wear a mask. Um, you'll see. I let go of the pad. I'm gonna go or the or the the front of the buffer. That's because I'm letting the buffer just do the work. I'm I'm not trying to put a lot of pressure on it. I don't need to. Now here's the reason why we have double pads. You can see that one side is nice and dirty. That's the, all the cooked off gel coat from UV burn off. And all I want to do is shine it up a little bit. That's what I'm doing there. I'm gonna clean off the pad real quick. Just so I have a clean surface, right? Just a little bit that I was using had a lot of dirt on it. Had a lot of, of the uh, Super Duty compound still left in it. And basically what the compound is, the cut, it's just sandpaper. It's just sandpaper, okay? Uh, I decided to go ahead and give it another whirl. Um, there's a little bit of white streak left in it, and I wasn't happy with it. But I'm also going to just do the top real quick. Uh, we actually did a repair on this. You might be able to tell there's a little bit of discoloration on the top edge of this shoulder uh, we wanted to go ahead and, and uh, give it a little shine see how well it works uh, you know we're always trying to do different techniques on things uh, the technique here we had was pretty good uh, had a little bit of uh, of a off you know like a just bumpy area but uh, it's okay um, I wanted to demonstrate how simple and easy I'm, I'm not even holding on to this very top very hard. The top is just for mostly control, or the top of the buffer for me to hold. And the nice thing is this pad, other against other pads, this one's super flexible. You can actually see it flexing, which works well in the slides that are uh, that are concave or, or you know curved, if you will. So that's why I like to use them. But plus they're nice and soft. I can grab them with my hands, and if they accidentally hit me, it's no problem. All right, so this one it's a lot lighter. That's that other polish I was showing you. This has a light cut, very light cut. I think it's uh, uh, equivalent to a thousand uh, grit sandpaper, uh, wet, if you will. And now I'm using the clean side for that, right? I'm using the clean side because that's my that's going to be my uh, wax and or polish and wax side, not the cut side. All right, same thing, same process. We want to spread the product out a little bit, nice and even. You can get into the uh, into the pad as much as possible. I'm just readjusting here, getting comfortable. Glasses, you know. I'm also letting it dry just a little bit, you know, just a little bit of wax. Wax, you want it to dry. And the same process, you're just going to go back and forth. No pressure on the pad as much, you know. I'm just letting it work. A little bit of pressure is fine, but I'm just letting it work. Okay, and what this does, and the reason why I'm going back with this, because of pol cut and a polish, or cut and wax, you don't want to leave gel coat raw or virgin. You want to make sure that you have a wax on it. If you don't, you're just going to have that same, uh, you're going to have that the calcium build up even quicker, okay? Because gel coat, it's not smooth, it's very porous. You, you, you really can't tell, but it's very porous. So if you don't wax it, you're not going to protect those little pores. You've got to wax it. All right, keep waxing, keep waxing. All right, you can see how nice and shiny that section is. We're actually going to move down to another section um, just below where we're at here. And you can see I've got a lot of calcium buildup. So you're going to really see the uh, how well it works. All right, so we've moved to another section. Same slide, just a little bit lower. You can see where I have the where there's some uh, the water line is for the calcium buildup. There's definitely buildup on the sides, and once again, you do not want to have the cord all willy nilly. You can see where it's at. It's in between my legs. This is all 100% control because if it gets wrapped, we call them wrappers. If it gets wrapped around the pad, it will not be fun for the operator, nor. Is it going to be fun for somebody that has to fix that buffer? Uh, we've had cords completely ripped out of the buffers. Um, it's not. It's not fun. It's not comfortable. 
Uh, so you want to have complete control over that, um, over the, the buffer cord. So that's why for me, and what I recommend, always keep it in between your legs. Or if you're in vertical, make sure it's always pointing down. Don't be using anything crazy with going upside down. You'll see what I'm doing. Same thing. I'm just cleaning the pad, making sure I'm not going to have too much of the old, um, the old cut on it, or the Super Duty compound. Same thing. Small area. Nothing too big. Not too crazy. Um, going to spread it just like we did last time. We're doing the same process. But you're going to really see how this pops out real fat, real quick and fast and in a hurry with this Super Duty compound. Get comfortable, by the way. This is a really uncomfortable position. Um, especially when your hands are knees. I, our team, we always have knee pads available, uh, masks. You can see I'm not going too far. I wanted to point out where, where I'm working, my work position at that point, or, or my work area. Uh, I spread it. Now I'm on low, sp or now I'm on high speed. You can see it's starting to come out. Oh, look at that shine. Now, once again, not a lot of pressure. Just letting the buffer work. You can see, oh, there we go. You can see the buffer, just letting the buffer work. I'm not uh, putting a lot of pressure. All that uh, my hand, my left hand is doing is controlling it where it's at. And if I want to really get down on an angle, I can. Um, that pad is super flexible, super, super, you know, it can bend in many ways. Let's see how that popped out a little bit. It popped out really nice. Now, video looks fantastic already, but uh, when I'm down there, I can still see a lot of white streak. Man, yeah. He said, I'm talking to my, my manager on the side, and we're talking about how you know, we have some UV cook-off on, on the red. Uh, like I said, red is one of our worst colors in the park. Um, we just have a lot of issues with red specifically. Um, some of the other colors do the same, but nowhere near as bad as red. Um, it like has the, <laughs> uh, the calcium just completely sticks to it. Okay, you can see where it's still a little dry in those areas we want to hit really good now sometimes you may be doing certain colors cut multiple times you want to be careful do not do it too many times because basically what this is again this is sandpaper it's just liquid sandpaper and what what's happening is it's going at this high speed it's going to create friction right you do not want to go too much if you keep doing it you're actually taking layers and layers of, of gel coat off it's thousands don't you know it's at the thousands of, of uh, depth but still it, you're taking it off so you don't want to do this too much what you want to be able to do is prevent it and the way you do that is by waxing you want to make sure to finish this off with a wax and you'll see I'm gonna finish this off a of wax here in a minute now it's best to go ahead and do the whole slide whatever you're doing work it and then you can change out your pad put a brand new pad on there for the waxing and really put a nice shine on the slide, right? On the on the glass. Uh, when I say glass, I mean fiberglass. Okay, you can see that shine, that red apple shine right there. By the way, for, for some of you guys that might be interested, this is traffic red. Is the color, it's an RAL, RAL color. This is traffic red. Okay, and once again, let me let me express that this is at this point virgin glass. Uh, Virgin Joko, you do not want to work with this. You do not want to put this into service. What you need to do is you got to wax it. you got to wax it. If not, you're going to have this same situation three times worse in two or three months. It's going to start to look really bad really quick. Okay. Now, once again, I'm going back with that, that uh, light polish heavy wax. Now, 3M does sell a bunch of different products that are in this realm. They're all marine grade, which I highly recommend. Anything marine grade. Uh, Meguiar's makes some good products too. They're a little bit more pricier, and you can get this product um, in gallons. Which for us in, in our industry, you're going to use a, a lot. So you might want to just get just get gallons worth of it. In my store right now, I have 50 gallons worth of the Super Duty because we're going to go through it. We know we're going to go through it. It just it is what it is. And I have about 40 pads in stock. Same process, just spreading it all out. Now we're going high speed. I'm just going to watch this pop. Look at that.
the reason, another reason why I go in small areas is because I don't want to forget anything, especially when I'm waxing. You want to make sure to get everything because you're going to see it. You'll see it in two or three months if you haven't been waxing or you haven't waxed a certain area. Yeah, calcium's going to build up on it a lot. Now, the nice thing about uh, the product that I was showing you and I'm using now, that is a great maintainer product. So let's say um, you want to go ahead and wax your slides in the middle of the season. Go ahead and use it. Go ahead and use that same product. What's great about using that product is it has a light, like I said, it's got a light cut, but a high polish. So you're going to be able to maintain it longer, right? 3M makes some other products that manufacturers recommend, that slide manufacturers recommend. Uh, give those a try as well. Um, just these have worked for us, um, and you know we really like them. And especially, like I said, we use this, we use the product for body slides. It's amazing. Well, good luck.